Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on peritoneal tapping. So abdominal or peritoneal tapping is also called as parasynthesis. It is a procedure to remove the extra peritoneal fluid that has collected in the abdomen. So this extra fluid is called ascites and there are a few causes such as infection, inflammation like peritonitis, injury or other conditions like cancer or liver cirrhosis. So the extra fluid in the peritoneum will be removed with a long thin needle that is inserted through the skin and into the peritoneal cavity. And the fluid collector is then sent to the lab for analysis. There are two main indications to do peritoneal tapping. The first indication is for diagnostic evaluation of the ascites to differentiate whether the fluid is transudate or exudate because both will be caused by different causes. Second indication is for therapeutic purpose to relieve the respiratory difficulty due to increase in intra-abdominal pressure caused by the ascites. So before the procedure, we have to check the full blood count, coagulation profile and also any allergy to local anesthesia. These are the steps of peritoneal tapping. First, obtain consent from the patient, explain the indication why we have to do this procedure, and the risk of peritoneal tapping, for example, infection, bleeding, or organ injury. Ensure good IV access, for example, 18 gauge cannula in the anticubital fossa. Prior to the procedure, ask the patient to empty their bladder. And then we start by examining the abdomen, Mark the point of the approach and usually mark one point at the midline, 3 to 4 cm below the umbilicus and then one point in the left or the right lower quadrant where the point will be between the umbilicus and the anterior superior iliac spine or the patient's fang. So this depends on the location of the fluid as determined by percussion of the fluid wave. Make sure to avoid all surgical scars because the bowel may, may be adherent to the abdominal wall. So this picture shows the points to be marked, the blue color dots. So we have to avoid the inferior epigastric artery. And then we clean and drape the area of interest after marking. Give local anesthesia, which is lignocaine. And we start by gently inserting the 16 gauge cannula connected to the syringe perpendicular to the skin at the site of the ascetic tapping. Keep the needle perpendicular to the abdominal wall and then slowly advance the needle in while maintaining constant gentle suction through the syringe. So after that, when a good flow is achieved, then we can remove the needle and then connect the cannula to a drainage bag. Collect some of the fluid for samples to send for cytology, microscopic examination, biochemistry, culture and sensitivity, and other tests. So make sure that the patient rests in bed as the ascites is drained. After the procedure, replenish with IV 100ml, 20% human albumin for each liter of the ascites drain. This is to prevent severe hypovolemia, secondary to reaccumulation of ascites. There are some complications of peritoneal tapping, such as failed attempt to collect the peritoneal fluid, persistent leaking from the puncture site, wound infection, abdominal wall hematoma, spontaneous hemoperitoneum, hollow viscous perforation like the small or large bowel, stomach or bladder, catheter laceration and loss in the abdominal cavity, laceration of blood vessels like aorta, mesenteric artery or iliac artery, post-parasynthesis hypotension, delusional hyponatremia, and also hepatorenal syndrome. So that's all for this video. Thank you.